if you are here today if you are watching this video is because you managed to change the weapons you managed to change the avatars but you want to change the maps too so the idea is you have to go to the scenes you have to select the multiplayer scene 2 and we're going to duplicate it too so everything is ready to duplicate copy paste and build your own stuff really fast so the idea is to distinguish this map from the other one we're going to change a bit the colors yes the color so we're going to get i don't know the prototype um, material can be called like that prototype material prototype one for example yeah well we're going to put this one that is different now there's a texture this one here yellow so it's going to be yellow so map 3 is going to be yellow and now we're going to save everything we're going to go to the build settings we're going to add the current open scene we're going to delete this one that i don't know why is there and then we have all almost set up so the next step you have to follow is you have to go to the uh, scene manager scene manager a sync and inside of this you can see that we have to add the multiplayer 3 index set to 4 so now we have another scene multiplayer scene to use in our script that is set here in the scene index okay now in that uh, scene here is going to be also call from different parts of the script so the idea is to make things simple simple you can go ahead and search for this in your project and you will see where it is used so you can see that go to multiplayer scene here we can see that if a is equal to zero then uh, it goes to the first one and if it's set to one it goes to the second one so we're going to copy these lines of code and we'll say okay so when it ever is set to two we're going to go to the third scene so that is in the same script as you can see in the scene manager async so we're going to seek for the other scripts where that part of the code is uh, being used so in the photo lobby here you can see that in this line of, of code we have to copy and paste also the um just before the parenthesis we have to copy this line of code and change it to three two so in fact we create the player whenever we have the multiplayer zero one the multiplayer zero two or the multiplayer zero three scene two and that is going to create the player in our game next thing let's see if we have to change anything else um yeah of course this is going to be the time manager so in the time manager we're going also to change this line of code by copying and pasting it so this in fact what it does is whenever the sorry i think i did something wrong yeah it's only this part yeah only this part i'm going to put it there let's see if it works yeah it works so you have to change it by three two and um this is being used for checking if we are in those multiplayer scenes to finish the game in fact so it's like excluding the other scenes because we don't want to do the same code in one or another that's like the your idea we can show in this short tutorial we save this too and let's keep our search going so i think we did it all because i get, got to the end of the search yeah so i'm going just to show you the three scripts you have to modify you have to modify the time manager the photo lobby and the scene manager a sync and you have to use that multiplayer 03 that is referred to the scene index number four here at the top now now uh, maps are being selected to in the main menu through the um 
through the uh, raycast of the player in the main menu. So we're, go we're going to go to the menu scene and we're going to see what is going on, for example, with the player um, the player info here. So you can see that we need to add in the map icons one another different map. So I'm going to just to use the prototype uh, image if it lets me, or I'm going to use my logo. Yeah, my logo, for example. So the third map is going to be using my logo to show uh, in the menu that we're selecting that map. And um, let's see if we have to change anything else. I don't think so. Well, I'm going to, up the, up, uh, to open the player info and I'm going to go to the uh, change map and I'm going to check what is going on. Yeah. Yes, yes, we have to change something else. As you can see, we have the names here. We have a spaceship, we have exterior, and uh, this is like a loop that is going to change the values all the time from one type of map to another. So the idea is that we're going also to change this line of code and say, okay, 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 if the value is a spaceship, it goes to exterior. But if the value is exterior, it's going to go to my logo map. Okay, so we're going to put my logo there, and if the value is my logo, it's going to, sh to shift again to a spaceship, that is the first, as you can see here, this first part or the first scene in the loop. Okay, so, this is a way of doing it, this is a way of doing it, and it should work fine too. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that the index, that is going to be the index of the map, you can see here that is 1, because it's changing from the index that is 0 to 1 first, then it has to be set to 2 here. So that's the main changes. You have to change the names, and also you have to change the indices. And once you have done that, it should work. And we're going to test it here in real time to see if we have any other errors on the scripts. So remember that you have to launch every single time the application from the persistent scene. Otherwise, you won't get anything working in your test. And now let's see if it starts working today. It says not connected. Now it says connected. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm going to check here if going to room create. And then I select different maps. We go to the exterior map as you can see. And then we have my logo there. And it's my logo map. Okay, so and you can see that the loop is going to be closed. So now we have the logo map here that we're going to open. And we're going to log inside that one. And uh, it should be a yellow map. Of course, it's a yellow map. And you can see that my avatar is also there. The one that I have changed in my previous tutorials. So I'm going to uh, just leave my glasses again there. I'm going to show you that the, ex the, the, the map that is, has been loaded is number three. And now we have some errors there um, that are not really nice, but they are all regarding to one single script that is the ladder. And I think um, it's going to be quite easy to fix. We have an error that is from the map and an error that is from the ladder. So we're going to open both. So to fix those two errors, we we'll have to go to ladder. And uh, as you will see, 
we have a problem with one of the scripts that is this one here that has to be a public game object because public, public game object because we want to change the uh, values here as you will see and set the size of the game object hands to 2 that will fix the first error if everything goes well and the next error is related to the fact that we have added um, a new scene with a new map but we haven't changed that player avatar please go there okay we haven't changed the reference to the new map inside the uh, map manager there so you can see that we have a map here game object that has the map menu and now we have to add another one so I'm going to copy this one set it to 3 and I'm going to put instead instead of this image there I'm going to put my logo to, to because it's going to be my logo map and um, now you have to go to the um, map view here and say okay we want um, the properties to be changed to uh, into the different limits and uh, for example this one is there you can see that they are referred to the player so we need to go to the new map here and say this is the player for the third map and we also need the two limits here limit one here limit two there so now everything is ready and it should work so we're going to test it here in real time to show you that those are the modifications we need to make it work without any kind of problem so we're going to select my logo map so let's go to logo okay we are going to set new we're going to say yes we want to get in and now we're going to check if we have some errors there are no errors there there are no errors there that's a good thing and uh, let's see if the game lets me um, move towards this ladder and show you if the ladder scripts are working after we have changed um, partially the script this is just a personal test I'm going to do in order to uh, check if everything is working fine so I'm going to get there okay and you can see that there's no problem the player is going up and you can see that we're, we're in the it's working I mean it's working so thank you for watching this tutorial this is how we can achieve new maps and uh, okay I, I, I forgot to show you my logo in my map manager um, canvas so you can see that yeah we have there the, the logo and you can see that the player is moving and rotating in, the, in this small part in this small part of the map okay I don't know if you can see that you can see it through my glasses this is there so um yeah this is how you achieve the modifications um that you need to add a new map to your game thank you very much for watching this tutorial